And what about the editing of this movie? Well, I think there is. Uh, we we need to backtrack a little bit on this because, uh, in while from the very beginning, uh, the name Dwayne Harrison uh, is on his films as the editor, uh, and I presume he was a studio employee at uh, Paramount, uh, so that. Uh, because uh, he worked on The Major and the Minor, which was the, the first film that uh, Wilder directed, again from a script by himself and Charles Brackett. Uh, and, and the name recurs over and over again uh, through... Uh, uh, it, it's on Sunset Boulevard and it's on The Lost Weekend. Uh, he was very much uh, a partner in, in Wilder's work. Uh, when I was around the studio, there was uh, sort of comments ab about uh, uh, his assistant, Danny Mandel, uh, having uh, served for, for many years, uh, and that eventually he had to, uh, Dwayne Harrison had to sort of bow out and take, uh, first of all, I think, an editorial supervision credit in order that Danny Mandel would get a credit as, as editor, um, and later that Dwayne Harrison uh, took, as he does on 1, 2, 3, uh, an associate producer credit alongside I.L. Diamond, uh, and uh, Danny Mandel has the uh, editing credit. I think the story, it, it, it has been put to me, it, it, is actually slightly different that um, Wilder was a brilliant writer and superb at casting his films uh, but that he was not uh, uh, as aware of the, uh, the, the, the technical refinements uh, that uh, Editing and uh, the the uh, the use of the uh, of the camera, and that Dwayne Harrison was standing at his elbow and saying, "Don't you think it would be a good idea to have uh, a pan and track here? Don't you think we could just move in a little bit closer on this? Don't you think we could?" Uh, and that he did impose a visual style on the film which uh, added greatly to the uh, sense of pace uh, and uh, that uh, the mind is, is constantly refreshed, subconsciously even, uh, by the, uh, the fact that the, uh, the, the camera is never still, uh, just as much as the actors and the, uh, uh, and the background. Um, and looking at the conversations with Wilder that uh, uh, Cameron Crowe published uh, shortly before Wilder died, uh, I, I think he gives him less credit than, than he deserves. And I think it is noticeable that uh, after Dwayne Harrison, uh, well, probably gave up, uh, which was actually only two years before his death, uh, that uh, Wilder's unaided style is very much less uh, visually exciting uh, than it is when uh, Dwayne Harrison was uh, on the set and and keeping an eye on uh, on the visuals that were going into the camera. Uh, but uh, on one, two, three. Uh, he was definitely there, and one can see this elegance. Uh, and, uh, uh, and Danny Mandel was there in the cutting rooms, um, uh, putting things together to, to, to very good effect.